All right, so move on to the next segment. I will be sharing my thoughts of which teams I believe will earn the sixth seed and the seventh seed in the AFC and the NFC conference with three weeks to go before the NFL playoffs begin. So, I'm, and when I say this, I really should say I do believe these teams that I'm about to mention will lock up the final two seeds before post the postseason comes. Um, I'm not really sure how it's going to go, but I do believe these teams I'm about to mention will have the final sixth seed and the seventh seed in their respective, conf in re their respective conferences. So let's go on to the AFC conference, which I believe the Miami Dolphins will secure a spot into the playoffs, having one of those final spots come postseason time. Now, they haven't looked the best. Uh, they were looking like a threat in the AFC. It kind of cooled down over the last uh, few, uh, over the last three weeks, I should say. They have lost three games in a row. They lost on the road, uh, actually lost three straight uh, away games in a row. Lost on the road to the San Francisco 49ers. They lost on the road against the Los Angeles Chargers. And then they just suffered a loss on the road against a divisional rival and the Buffalo Bills. So they're coming off of three devastating losses. Uh, games that really could have gone either way, minus the San Francisco 49ers game. They just got outplayed offensively and deep on the defensively on both sides of the ball in that game. But the Chargers game could have gone either way. And same with the Buffalo Bills game. That could have gone either way. So this team has to really get things going ASAP. They currently are still in the are still remain alive in the playoffs, but you don't want to lose another game or so. That's really going to hurt the confidence of this ball club, but I believe they will get in. I like the remaining last three games uh, that's left on their schedule. They play the Green Bay Packers at home Christmas Day. I like that game. They play on the road against the New England Patriots, a team that they already decimated in the beginning of the season, week one in Miami. And then their final game, they play at home against the New York Jets. So I like them actually winning out, if you want my honest opinion. I like the Dolphins winning out in their final three games. I like them matching up well against all three of these teams. Therefore, I do believe that Miami Dolphins will do what they're needed, uh, with what they're supposed to do. Do I believe they'll win the AFC East? No. But I believe they can walk into the playoffs as 12 and 5 ball club and secure a playoff spot. And then the, uh, the which would go to the final spot in the AFC. I do believe the Los Angeles Chargers will get in. Uh, and this would be best for football. We were robbed of Justin Herbert making the playoffs last year. There was a lot of things that happened in that week 18 matchup where the Chargers played against the Los Angeles Raiders. I mean Las Vegas Raiders, excuse me. Where it was a scenario where both teams, if they tied, could have went to the playoffs, the Raiders and the Chargers. Unfortunately, the Chargers didn't think things through. I still believe to this day that the Raiders are running out the clock so both teams, so the game could end in a tie in overtime and both teams go to the playoffs. And that would have been better than having a washed up Ben Roethlisberger out of his prime, out of his days that he can deliver in the playoffs for him to go to the playoffs and just get beat down by Patrick Mahomes of the Kansas City Chiefs. It would have been better if we had Derek Carr and Justin Herbert in the playoffs. So let's keep our fingers crossed we get Justin Herbert in the playoffs this year. I believe they have a clear path to the playoffs if they win out. I like their remaining schedule as well. They play on the road against the Indianapolis Colts coming Monday night in primetime football. They play at, well, really can't say it's really a home or away game because they both share the same stadium. They're going to play in L.A. against the Rams, and then they're going to play their final game on the road against the Denver Broncos. So again, just like the Miami Dolphins, I realistically see the Los Angeles Chargers winning out, making sure they get into the playoffs this postseason. So I like the Chargers, and that's the two teams I do believe will lock up the two final spots and the AFC, the Dolphins and the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, let's move on to the NFC Conference. Uh, I think the Detroit Lions are really going to get in. Now, they are really, really surprising the NFL. They're co really coming out of how this rebuild is going to turn out. I said it before the season started. I think this rebuild is really going to pay off. Well, this rebuild is really going in the right direction because I don't think anybody really thought realistically that this team would be a playoff team three weeks away from the, play, uh, three weeks away from the regular season ending. This is a realistic shot that this will happen because they are currently red hot. They are currently 6-1 in their last seven games They're and are currently at 7-7. Seven and seven. And what's going to come down to the most important things, they, own, they currently own a tiebreaker 
over the New York Giants and over the Washington Commanders, two teams that they beat during the NFL season. So if it comes down to it, they own the tiebreaker over both of those teams that are lingering in, both holding on to the final spots in the NFC Conference as we speak right now. And the Lions are one of the top teams that's looking on the outside trying to get into the playoffs. And the remaining schedule, I like the remaining schedule as well. This weekend, they play on the road against the Carolina Panthers. Then they have a home game against the Chicago Bears. And then they close out the season playing on the road against the Green Bay Packers. I can really see the Lions winning out, but I'm going to play it safe. I say that they will go 2-1. and one. No, 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 no. No, matter of fact, the way that they've been playing ball lately, I'm going to say they're going to go out and finish the season with three wins in a row. Going 10-7 and seven on the season, making sure they get to the playoffs. That's how I feel about this. I think the Detroit Lions will finally get back into the postseason. And they're going to, this rebuild, man, I'm really proud of this team because this, this is remarkable that they, I'm even saying this, that they have a chance. And I will add also, that is a team that nobody's going to want to see come the postseason if you're the number two seed. Mo could be the San Francisco 49ers or the Minnesota Vikings, how things play out. But those two teams are not going to want to play a red-hot Detroit Lions team, especially if they go on to win their last three games of the regular season. That would put them at 9-1 and one in their last 10 ball games if that realistically happens. So that's definitely a team you don't want to see them come the postseason. And then this last spot, I went back and forth with it, but following the win their win Sunday night against their divisional rival, I'm going to say the New York Giants are going to get this last spot. And I, I do believe it could go either way, but I'm going to go with the Giants on this one. They finally got a win after weeks going without a victory. Uh, controversial uh, victory. My co-host Rob would co-sign on that pass interference call that was in the back of the end zone. Come that last play on fourth and goal in that ball game. But it is what it is. The Giants got that win. And their last, uh, their last five games are currently 1-3-1. and one. That's not good. But, hey, they're still hanging on to a playoff spot right now at 8-5-1. and one. The last spot will go to, like I said, will either go to the Giants or the Commanders. I know the Seahawks are there, but I just don't th think the Seahawks are going to get into the playoffs this year, I, unfortunately. But I believe the Giants have the more favorable uh, schedule remaining when you compare their schedule to the last three games compared to the Washington Commanders. So the Giants' schedule, they go on the road this weekend to play the Minnesota Vikings. They, then they play at home against the Indianapolis Colts, which that should be a gimme game at this point. After the fact that the Jeff Saturday, I believe the Jeff Saturday experience is no longer paying off, no longer working after blowing a 33-point lead, the largest lead blown in NFL history. So I can bet the house on anybody playing against the Indianapolis Colts at this particular point, at this particular time. They play at home against the Colts, and then they finish up uh, on the road playing in Philadelphia against the Philadelphia Eagles, which the starters might, no, shouldn't play in the game because it shouldn't, it really wouldn't matter for the Eagles at that particular point. I see an easy win for the Giants playing against the secondary and uh, second and third string players of the Philadelphia Eagles as they rest up for the playoffs. Then you have the Washington Commanders, their final three games. They go on the road this weekend to play the San Francisco 49ers. They have a home game against the Cleveland Browns, and then they finish their season off playing against the Dallas Cowboys at home. So when you compare that, I can see the Giants going 2-1, and one, and I can see the Washington Commanders, um, honestly, hmm, I can see them losing out. I can really see this Commanders team losing out because that you're you're not gonna they're not gonna beat the san francisco 49ers on the road that browns game is a 50 50 game to me but i trust the browns uh skill players over the washington commander skill players and i like them the browns running game going up against that defense and then the cowboys i think the cowboys are not going to rest anybody when that time comes i think they're going to play everybody because most likely they're going to be a wild card team at this point so i like the giants getting into that final spot due to them having the better schedule uh, remaining compared to the Washington Commanders. So those are the teams that I believe in their respective conferences will get the 6th and the 7th seed, uh, the last two spots in, uh, for the playoffs in the AFC and the NFC conferences.